I, are we the only people who've ever played this game who care about yeah, the school? Yeah. Hi, I'm Josephine Langford and I'm here to play How Well Do You Know Your Co-Star. I'm here at Stefan and I'm also playing How Well Do You Know Your Co-Star. What job did I do on the side while I worked on establishing myself as an actor? Was I A, landscaping? Flipping burgers. Oh, okay, 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 cool. We have a... No, give, have, me, give me the options. We have, a, we have a correct answer that isn't actually on the list. So there's A, landscaping, B, lifeguarding, C, newspaper de- delivery, or D, dog walker. You definitely get a bonus point for saying flipping burgers because I did work at a barbecue catering company. But I also did another job before I was an established, I guess, actor. You weren't a lifeguard in England. Newspaper delivery and dog walker feel accurate, but landscaping, there's... I'm going to say dog walker, and I'm probably wrong. No, 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 no. Actually, that's really funny. I take it back, and I'm actually... I think you were a newspaper delivery person. That's another incorrect answer, so I don't think you can change your mind again. You can get the you can get the point though for flipping burgers because that is technically correct. But the correct answer on the list is landscaping. I did used to do that for a while. It was I thought that was something you just wanted. To, oh, that's interesting. Okay. It was it was like gardening landscape gardening, but like not so much the the, the pretty work or designing it. It was more just like someone wants their garden dug up and resurfaced. So yeah, it's not very glamorous at all. It was just like a bunch of digging and, and, and relaying grass and stuff. Where was I the first time I read the script for the first after film? A, at the beach, B, on a plane, C, on a camping trip, D, on set for another project. I think you were on a plane. Yes. Yes, I was. Cool, we'll call that one all. I'll, I'll happily give you the, the point for the bonus answer on the other one. All right, uh, what quality do I think is the most important thing for a successful relationship? Sense of humor, honesty, flexibility, or optimism? Honesty? That is the correct answer. I think if we took, there are loads of traits that I think are like most important for a relationship, but if we're talking about the one, the one that's most important, as important as a sense of humor is, I think honesty is the kind of one where if you have to pick one, fundamental that's gonna kind of keep it going and keep a healthy relationship. I reckon honesty is a big one. Which former Saturday Night Live star is the director of my upcoming film, Moxie? A, Tina Fey, B, Maya Rudolph, C, Kristen Wiig, D, Amy Poehler. I believe it's Amy Poehler, I think. That is correct. She's really great. She's really incredible. She's so positive, but she's such a great director and uh, I've never seen that before. Someone who's able to create uh, such a positive environment on set and direct with kindness, uh, it, and it works. And I think a lot of directors have experience with acting, and I think it's definitely very, very helpful because you can communicate in a way that the actor understands and, and you've been in their shoes. What's the only social media platform that I still have an account on? I'm not reading out the answers, you already know this. Instagram. There you go. That's an easy point for you there. A small percentage of it was the fact that I feel like you, you could easily get consumed by just wasting time on on them. And there's so many that do the same thing. I don't even really like texting people. I just prefer to just call. Like a lot of the time someone will text me something and I'll just call them. And it looks like a lot of my chats look like I'm just airing people. But I prefer to just call and, and uh, get it all done. Yeah, I prefer, uh, I prefer phone to- uh, phone calls. I think I prefer them over FaceTime actually. Don't like texting, hate texting, suck at texting. Well, while we're on Instagram, <laughs> how long has it been since I last posted to my Instagram account? A, six months. B, one year. C, a year and a half. D, two years. I'm going to go for a year. Uh, apparently, it's a year and a half. Gee, fair enough. All right, I reckon you're going to get this one. Or maybe a, a few of these will throw you off the scent, to be fair. Uh, what fashion brand asked me to be the face of their full winter 2020 ad campaign? Is that Dior, Superdry, H&M or Ferragamo? Ferragamo. It's actually incorrect. Oh, no, 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 no. It's actually not. Uh, wait, can you... Oh, no. I got it wrong. Not, do you know what? I'm not, I'm not letting you go back on that because I think I need a point to even keep me in the game. 
but uh, it's actually super dry. I've done a fair bit of work with Ferragamo, but not their full winter 2020 ad campaign. All right. What was the name of the very first short film I ever did? A, Sex Ed, B, Schools Out, C, Gypsy Blood, D, Prom Night. Prom Night, I'll go for. No, it's not. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I have no idea. That was, it had to be a guess. What was it? Uh, sex Ed. Babies are not fun, you know. I did a lot of extra stuff. Like I would always show up and I'd be an extra. I have an appreciation for extra work. They're everything and they make the scene. You can't do an airport scene or a restaurant scene if it's completely empty and you just have to sit there for eight hours. Yeah, I, I, I've never done extra work, but I have mad respect for them. I always like to chill with extras when there's downtime because a lot of the time they're like people your age, similar to you. So yeah, mad respect for their discipline because as Joe said, there's a lot of like waiting around and then when you say go, if you don't get it right, you're gonna, you know, it's a fundamental part of almost every scene. So mad respect for them, yeah. Um, but I've never done it myself. What does that, what does that take us yeah, to? Yeah, what, what's the score? <laughs> Are we the only people who've ever played this game who care about yeah, the score? Yeah. It's really nice when you get to work with someone who's very respectful and is very conscious of your comfort. Um, and yeah, I think we were just very lucky that all of our, we have a really great casting crew and everyone gets along. It's a luxury to be able to come back and work with the same people and work in the same role. So, um, it always feels like we go away for so long and you know, no one, you, you're not in contact with anyone so much. Everyone's busy doing their own thing. And then when you come back, you kind of just hit the ground running in the same way you left it, which it really is a luxury and, uh, Joe's amazing to work with. So yeah, it's, uh. It's always a pleasure. I'd just say the evolution of their characters, Tessa a lot as well, Hardin, Hardin massively as well. I just think the evolution of, of, of them growing up because those ages from like, you know, 18 through to like 22, I turned 23 soon and I can just, especially in my life and I think in everyone's, they're just like a lot, a lot changes uh, in those years. And I think we've done a great job of demonstrating that change, not just in themselves personally, but in their relationship as well. So I think people are just gonna be excited to see how that all develops. Thank you so much for watching. This has been How Well Do You Know Your Co-Star with Mary Claire. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure to watch After We Collided, which is in cinemas and on video on demand, October 23rd.